Yes, lads, welcome back to the channel for another match day vlog, another video. And this one is another difficult game against the Harrogate side who, let's, let's be fair, can cause an upset. They're not exactly the best of teams, but we've already seen this season that they've beat Salford. Um, you know, they've, and since they've been in the Football League, you know, they have had some really good games, you know, beating Bradford when they, it was their first season in the division. So they're a team that, you know, will play for each other, they'll fight for each other. The 11 men on the pitch probably won't be the, you know, the best talented players, but they'll all fight for each other, um, which I think will give us a tough ask, a tough evening, a tough evening, tough afternoon. Um, and coming off Tuesday night's big win against uh, Colchester, obviously it'd be very, very nice to get two back-to-back -back wins at Rodney Parade under our belt. In terms of my prediction, I'm going to go 1-0. I just think we're just going to edge it. Goal score, I'll probably go Will Evans because at the moment, if you don't predict Will Evans to score, you're a bloody lunatic because he's just scoring every week, it seems. Um, so 1-0 Will Evans is my prediction. And we'll make, meet Luke. I'm absolutely out of breath. We'll meet Luke in a minute to get his score prediction and then the lineups. Come on. Arrogant at home, big win on Tuesday. What do you think? How do you think this one will go? I can't fucking speak at the moment. No, I think we, we needed that win on Tuesday just to get a bit of you know flow back to our play. You know, Harrogate is always a bit of a strange game, but they, they haven't got their key striker starting, so I actually fancy us to win this quite comfortably. Score prediction? I know that's 3 0. Goal scorers? Omar Bogle, Will Evans and Brent Morris. Up the county. Okay. Let's give it to me. Townsend, Sebri, McGoughlin, Delaney, Bondswell, Morris, Bennett, Wildig, Wait, Bogle, Evans. Bench. Shit, I've got to find it now. Uh, Max, Dead, Payne, Roy, Thomas and Wood. Mm, Payne on the bench again after, you know, came on against Colchester. It was excellent. Mike Bondswell start, which is good. Um, Nick Townsend in goal again, I'm not too sure, but only time will tell. Let's see when we get into Ronnie Parade. Come on, the port, come on. Go get us underway. Come on, the port. Oh my god, what was that? You should have jumped on the jet again! Go on. Times and another error. The ref has been atrocious as well, but I'm not going to blame the referee for this. We've just been absolutely poor. It's been abysmal yet again. One good game, one bad game. I don't know what's going to happen. 1 0 down, 2 minutes to half time. Come on. Half time. A Ronnie Bray, Newport 1, Harrogate 0. Terrible referee and terrible officiating. Terrible first half. You know, it's a worrying thing that we can put in one good performance one week and then an awful performance next week. Nothing down to the players, you know, the players are trying their best, but a lot of the, you know, passes are coming off. Blue shorts. Get wrapped, innit? What if it's still the whole time? I think, I think it's just going to stay 1-0, man. 1-0. I'm going to go 1-1. I think we're going to score. That'll be a fucking miracle. See you in the second half. Come on. Again, it's another corner. Corner comes in. Terrible defending. I don't even know if it's gone straight through, if it's hit a player on the way in. 2 0. Again, Nick Townsend concedes from a corner. Terrible. I don't even know who scored. 2 0. Harrogate. Terrible. I bet to bring subs on. Hopefully, that can fucking get some life into this team. Terrible. Go on, still there. Go on. Oh, 
time at Romney Bray it's finished Newport 1 Harrogate 2 <sighs> difficult game yet again you know Tuesday night I thought we played really well we were effective in transition you know the midfield and defence was alright obviously we scored the two goals today was just complete disjointed performance the referee did of course and the officiating play a big role in the reason we lost but I'm not just gonna stand here and say that the referee cost us because it's just lazy but you know, it's one of those where on another day we could have won. But like I said, the referee wasn't the reason we lost. The referee wasn't in goals. The referee wasn't, you know, in midfield, not picking up runners. So ultimately it's a, you know, defeat that realistically we deserved. You know, we didn't deserve anything from the game. If you have enjoyed the vlog, please make sure to like, share and subscribe. <sighs> Saturday's going to be a very difficult one away at Swindon. A Michael Flynn team, they're going to be well drilled. They lost today against... Um, Bradford at Valley Parade so they're going to be up for it they're going to need to bounce back um, I have no idea what my thoughts are going to be for that we could get battered we could nick it 1-0 or something like that um, just put my ticket for Swindon that's going to be a bloody nightmare isn't it but yeah, if you have enjoyed the vlog please make sure to like share and subscribe I'll see you in the next one up the county